This is the brand new DJI Air 3S, and that is the gauntlet tree tunnel right there. Don't watch out for that tree! And, and, oh, and don't worry, I did definitely purchase the DJI Care Refresh Insurance. Now, this test has four parts to it. First is the tree tunnel that you see right there. After it gets past that, it's in a bit of an open area, but it's got its own trickery to it. Then we've got the high speed test. This thing also now tracks at a higher speed than past drones from DJI, so that'll be interesting to test. Then from there, we're gonna go to a little more open area where I'm gonna use the new automatic like angle feature where it'll automatically not just choose a shot, but choose a composition as well, which is new for the Air 3S. And if it gets through all that fun stuff, then we're gonna go to the trees because we're, we're probably gonna have the trees either way, but we're gonna purposely go into the trees and see what happens. Now, this thing has one key feature that may allow it to finally make its way through. And this feature is the new lighter on the front there. This little black stripe right there. This lighter sensor allows it to detect objects it can't see. That's particularly useful in low light conditions like right now when the sun is starting to set but also scenarios like thin branches and fall and winter as it's coming up right now and materials that are either reflective or transparent such as glass or some metals and stuff like that that's a huge boost for dji drones and we're going to find out whether it was worth my money because i did buy this myself just about two hours ago at the dji store here in the netherlands and this will actually be its first flight and potentially it's only flight. We shall see. Don't worry, I got the care refresh. We should be fine. With that, you ready for this? Let's get rolling. Now, with it up there behind me, there is one setting we need to check first, which is the obstacle avoidance settings. So I tap a little dot, dot, dot in the upper right-hand corner right there, and then you'll see obstacle avoidance action. The default is break. I've already changed that to be bypass. Below that, we have normal and nifty. Nifty makes it a little more spicy. I don't usually see much of a difference there. We're just gonna keep it on normal for right now. Going on down, display radar map so we can see the things it's about to crash into. Uh, the rest of the stuff is all fine there. There we go. Now, what we got to do here is to go ahead and get myself in the frame. There we go. No one's coming. No one's all the way up ahead, which is amazing. I can make a little square around myself. We will choose active track. Here we go. Okay, starting down this little slight hill right here. Can I kind of get moving? So far, so good. Just further than uh, a lot of other DJI drones make it. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so you can see it's already kind of struggling a little bit uh, because of the height there being closer to the trees. Oh, it's getting awfully close to these tree branches here. Bring it a little bit closer. I'm gonna swing it off to the side now because there's someone coming up. So let's see if it'll get off of the side of me there. We'll do that. Here we go, it's off to the side. Oh no, it's gonna go right into that tree. Oh nay. That's, we're not off to a good start here, folks. Uh, I'm just gonna move it back. Fine, we'll go behind me for now. There we go. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, that's a big tree. Okay, come on, get behind me. Don't watch out for that tree. Holy moly, moly, just behind me. Why are you over there? Okay, there we go. Now we're back on. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if like I would credit LiDAR with any of that. It's more just dumb luck. Oh, that's another tree. I just heard something hit there. That sounded more just like hitting it clunk on. Subject moving too fast. I'm not moving fast. I'm moving 18 kilometers an hour. It's just painfully slow. Now I'm gonna save you a whole lot more futzing around and basically the same thing happening over and over and over again. But I will let you briefly watch this crash because eh, it's worthwhile. All right, just stay there, please. That's a lot of trees. Oh, no, nice. we're about to lose it. And, and, oh, we, it saves itself. It goes back up in again. Little bugger, what are you doing? No, buddy. No, just go down, down. Please stay down. I promise it's better for all of us. Good. So we're gonna turn on one of the settings here, which allows us to go lower. Turn on the low option, basically for ground, uh, how low it'll go. And I don't typically like to do this, uh, but right now it's really struggling. I've got the lower setting on now. I basically turned that on to allow it to go under two meters. It seems to be, no, don't go up, dude. Stay down, trust me. I'm looking out for you. Don't go up. I told you to stay down low. And we're gonna try going through here and see if we can do this without it killing itself because this has less branches above it. So we've left the tree tunnel with, I would say, strongly mixed success. Now, at this point, we're gonna get moving a little bit faster here. Why are you going up? I've, I've told you, we've, we've had this discussion. Do not go up. <sighs> Fine, go up. Go up as you see fit. Now, try to catch up with me here. 
a good job of catching up. It's bouncing all over creation up there. It looks super smooth in the gimbal, but let me tell you, this guy is everywhere. Okay. We're doing good here. It's at this like shrub section up there, uh, bushes. It's gonna have to go above them ideally. Um, but this is like a clear indication of where LiDAR would be used to go around this if it's having problems with the uh, obstacle avoidance sensors. Like it should see those bushes without any problems whatsoever. Still tracking, there we go, oh, it got to me again, it found me. There we go, what are you gonna do through here? Come on, you're like 100 meters away in the fast zone. Can you do this? Go over, try to find where I went to. Oh, you, you lost me. Oh, you lost me strong. Nope, so close. Now, a couple things to note about control of the Air 3S. Unlike the cheap $200 Neo, this one requires a controller at all times. So the Neo, you can use your phone or nothing at all and just simply follows you using buttons on her. Somehow the $1100 drone doesn't have that functionality. I don't really understand why, but nonetheless, this does require a controller. However, DJI does have something in the works. It was leaked out, this thing right there. Uh, that was supposed to be a beacon for the Air 3S. Unfortunately, didn't make the cut. Talking to some people in the know, it sounds like that'll be like a next year thing. Probably not until April or something like that. And that's a bummer because that would have been super cool. Very similar to what Hover has now for the Pro and Max series. I uh, was Scottio had before them, AirDog before them, and, and so on down the list. In case you're wondering, by the way, where my Hover Max and Pro review is, uh, I'm still waiting on it. It's currently in Customs Jail. If someone knows someone at DHL Netherlands or Customs Jail Netherlands, then that would be awesome. It's been there for a few weeks now. So uh, once I get it out, then I'll have a review for you. It's as simple as that. In any case, on to the next stage. Okay, now we are in the fast section, but there's someone like 200 meters ahead, but this is perfect for the 3X lens here and doing active track. So I'm gonna go and highlight myself. We'll do active track. We're gonna stay in this case off to the side. There we go, out there, stay there. Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna go zoom back a little bit more so that we're back a little bit more. There we go. Put myself quite a bit ways out there. We're gonna keep it um, a couple meters off the ground, give or take. That's as far back as it's gonna let me go apparently, which is fine. And we'll go ahead and get going here. And we'll speed up a bit. I don't know what interference is talking about. That's the field. Why are you going over there? No, I'm over. Thank you. That's what I thought. I promise. I'm trying to, trying to keep you alive, my friend. If you're behind me, you're gonna die. I, I, no, 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 no. There. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know why you're so high, but there's nothing over there. So you do you. Okay, let's get moving here. Oh no. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Oh, and one more thing from here in Windmill Land. If you are fun of this video, interesting, useful, if you can just watch it all the way through, that's honestly all that YouTube cares about. And I promise it is entertaining. It only gets better, I promise. We'll get back to the high speed section. I've got this giant open expanse right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop back into the 1X because that just seems like a safer thing to do right now. We're gonna hit record, and I'm gonna go into full auto mode. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer to me. There we go. Tap me, active track. Okay, and now we're gonna choose full auto. There we go, automatic movement enabled. And it's got the whole world to try not to crash into anything for at least a little while. Don't worry, we're gonna get back to some trees, but I'm gonna let it do whatever it wants to do, and hopefully my controller will stay on my bike. I didn't really think about this when I went off venturing here, but there is a road way up there. There we go, automatic mode back on again. Let's see if it'll stay on this time. Not really sure why it went off, but you do you, drone. For once, you've got the freedom to do whatever you want. And you're staying right. Oh, that good job, finally. Just a bit of teasing helps get it moving. Okay, let's see what it does. Let's see if it does something. There goes my pedal. Okay, this is kinda, you know, it's doing its thing. It's obviously out capturing some interesting shots, I guess. It's kinda pretty, but I wish it would just do something else now. There we go. Hey, I guess it's listening to me. Okay, off the side. I mean, if it was me right now, ooh that was a little slippery. If it was me right now, I'd be off the side getting those sunset shots, like that right there. There we go, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That is a very pretty shot. Please don't slip in this. I'm having to go slow because the mount situation is a properly wonk, and uh, I don't want it to bounce off and me run over it because I've got enough stuff to probably replace after this day. We're only halfway through the course right now. 
Okay, now I've got the wide open road. Me and you, speed test time. However speedy is it gonna be. A bit of a headwind right now. Where'd you go? Okay. We're at, uh, I'm doing 35. Just letting it do its thing. It's keeping up, which is nice. Usually it struggles. I'd go faster if I wasn't into the wind, but it's getting some pretty shots, usable shots. I'm gonna go now. Okay, that's kind of cool. Here comes all these trees down here behind you. Oh, don't hit that tree, please. Not that one. Now, here we go. It's got the freedom to do whatever it wants right here. There's trees every 10 meters, including YOLO, that one. But, oh, that's a close one. Good call. Okay, around the tree, good job. Avoid the trees, you got one job. Avoid the trees. It's trying to find a gap. Can it do it? It's trying to find it in between these to pull off a 360. It wants to. Come on. You can do it, but don't just don't hit the tree. The tree's getting bigger, getting close to it. Woo! That was close. Hey, you got like six trees left. Come on. You can do it. That tree's behind you pretty big. You're about to hit it. Whoa, good job. You duck down, duck and cover. Okay. You, know, you could go up. Up would solve your problem. No, you can't find a spot, can you, here? I left the car back behind me. Watch this. Because I'm still in spotlight mode, as I pedal around it or just uh, scoot around it, it's following me. Okay, I'll stop teasing it. So in uh, looking at things now, we've uh, we've got a little bit of damage. We're missing the tips of the props entirely on this one here, um, on that one there as well. But it's time for the finale. Now, the rules of Tree Club are really simple. Do not go up. If you go up, you die. It's as simple as that. Uh, the challenge this thing's gonna have is that its LiDAR is only good for forward detection, that's it. For upward detection, it's gonna use the obstacle avoidance cameras, which it has new lower light obstacle avoidance cameras. DJI says in all their marketing that it can avoid all the things at night, like full on night. And obviously this is not full on night. This is still uh, an hour, exactly an hour before sunset. So let's get this in the air and find out what's gonna happen. I'm not terribly sure this is gonna work. In fact, I am 100% sure this is not going to work. But we are gonna try it. We're gonna test, there's no way. This is like, I'm gonna be ducking. So you know what, let's see what happens. I'm gonna go super slow. I'm gonna give it all the room in the world to see if it can do this. I will be blown away if it gets through this. Holy cow, it's doing it. Because you don't realize how dark it is in here. I'm not even sure where I'm going. It is super dark. Uh, let's see, this way. Sure. What? That is impressive. Holy cow, let's go this way. I'm not sure there's even a trail anymore, but we're gonna go this way. This, come on, this is impressive. Oh, did it lose me? Nope, it's got, come on. yo, it got me. It found me. Can it go through that? Under that? Oh, good job, DJI. You're not super like obedient, but you know, you're, you're pulling it off. You're like the, I don't know, the, teenager that won't listen, but still, oh lordies, that is not gonna end well at all. I don't know how you can get yourself out of that pickle. Oh nay, that's in the trees, that's deep in the trees. That's, that's, that's going down. Oh no. I wish, I, I don't have a good way to, where's my GoPro? You got yourself in one heck of a pickle over there, my friend. How are you gonna get out of that? How am I gonna get you out of that? Okay, you're deep inside that mess. Okay. Yeah, I just would stay there if I was you too. Let's see if I can get this out of here. We're gonna go, I don't even, how do you even get in there? I 
think we can just fly. Oh, no, 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 no. Just don't, don't do your own thing. No. Promise me you're not gonna do your own thing. I promise you I can get you out of this if you just let me. No, don't go fast. Don't go fast. Just go forward. Down. Okay, listen next time. You know, I think at this point, I think it's earned it. I think it's, it gets a passing rating on the gauntlet. Did it need help? Yes, but so did the Mini 3 Pro. Uh, it, it didn't crash though, that's a key thing. Either this or the Mini 3 Pro crashed. And I think if it had been a little bit lighter out and not basically almost sunset, then it, it probably would have gone a little more seamlessly on some of these things. But overall, this is super impressive. That LiDAR sensor, it's hard to tell exactly when it's being leveraged compared to the vision-based sensors that it has. Uh, but there are clearly scenarios like in the trees there that all past DJI drones would have crashed. 100% gone straight into some of that stuff. Even bigger trees that would have gone straight into. So kudos there. Land this thing and still have a functional drone. What do you think? You good with that? Oh, it just flicked. See, it's good with that. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. We got like 50% battery. Let's go get some more pretty shots. Okay, so I've got automatic moving on, just heading back now. And I've got it on auto on the 3X lens this time. I'm just gonna let it have fun. Just gonna let it do its thing, dancing around with the sunset in the background. We'll see if it'll find some amazing shots or not. Great shot for like right there where it's super far away out there. Let's say like 20 meters away. Lenses. Like this is a cool shot. This is fun. That's an amazing shot right now for completely autonomous. Doing its own dance. But now is when I would be swinging out to get the sunset that I'm riding into. I'm gonna show you how I would have framed this shot. Uh, and keep in mind, I'm doing this as a solo rider. So I'm in what's called spotlight mode. So that keeps the camera centered on me where I control the drone's movement. So I'm still controlling the drone's movements right now, but then I'm gonna stop it. Let go right there, and it's just gonna simply follow me. It's gonna keep me centered in the frame the entire time. This is one of those modes that a lot of people don't use, and honestly, you should really use. It is so good for this where it just keeps you centered and you focus on getting the exact shot you want from a kind of drone position standpoint. And you can see here, it is still following me this far away. I'm not moving the camera. It's doing all the camera movements itself. I'm just riding my bike off into the sunset. With that, have a good one.